All right, so our next panel is the split toning panel. And from this panel, we can make a lot of cool kind of artistic adjustments by split toning our image, which is basically adding color hues to the highlights as well as to the shadows of the image. And the way it's done is essentially all you do is you pick a color hue for the highlights. So let's say for the highlights, we want to have this green color hue. And there's a couple different ways of doing it. You can adjust from the hue and then adjust the saturation up and down from here. Or you can click right here in this little uh, color palette and you can choose a color and the further you go down the less saturated it's going to be the further you go up the more saturated it's going to be so if I click on my greens and then I kind of adjust down it's making it less and less saturated as I pull it down so I'm going to keep it like about right there and I'm going to close that and I'm going to go to my shadows and make another adjustment so in my shadows let's say I want reds it's kind of just a, a method of cross-processing our images um, there's a lot of cool things you can do this with this we'll show you guys some artistic uses of this uh, in future tutorials so for now I just want you guys to kind of understand how it works so I'm gonna leave it right there just so we can kind of see this adjustment and then from this balance option right here I can adjust back and forth the level of a color that we see in the highlights over the colors that we see in the in the uh, sorry to the right is the highlights and to the left is the shadows so the further I go to the, the left the more it's going to reveal these shadow hues and the further I go to the right the more it's going to reveal the highlight hues and then we can make adjustments to the highlight hues and saturation by just pulling the sliders or adjusting the saturation down or up if we feel like the effect is too powerful. Now the cool thing about this also is that split toning works over black and white so we can create cool kind of duotone and tritone images by hitting V to switch to black and white and then making our adjustments here as well. So maybe I want a black and white that's kind of a little bit cooler, it has a little bit of blues in it. Um, so I'm going to put some blues in the highlights as well as some blues in the shadows. We'll kind of tone it down just a little bit. And then I want the primarily the blue to show up really in the shadow more. So I'm going to adjust the balance off the left. And we're going to have the highlights be a little bit less, less saturated. So it gives me like this really nice kind of uh, tone to my black and white images. It's just a nice duo tone look. And I can turn that off to see what my original black and white looks like without the split toning and then with the split, split toning. Alright, so we're going to have some really cool split toning tutorials coming up. So for now, I'm going to hit reset on both my highlights by holding alt and then hit reset on the shadows as well. And then we're going to switch back to color mode by hitting V. And you know what, if I want to reset everything, I can just do that the easy way, of course. I'm just kind of reiterating the whole alt thing, but uh, the easy way of resetting everything, just click reset right here. So I hit reset and let's go on to the detail panel.